Hey guys, this is Tim from Dim Drive with a quick tutorial on how to set up Dim Drive's less RAM feature. And we're going to set it up with World of Warcraft with a 6 gig Dim Drive. So we're going to start up Dim Drive. We're going to go into settings and make sure it's set to 6 gigs. We're going to go to apps. And what you can do is you can grab your World of Warcraft shortcut and you can just drag it right into your Dim Drive configuration. Or you can grab the wow.exe and put it right in there. Um, here we already have it. So we're going to click on the wrench option here. We're going to click on the less RAM option and we're going to click configure. And what this is going to allow us to do is select the files that we want to run really quick on Dim Drive. Now with World of Warcraft, we may not know what those files are. So what we can do is we can go and grab the Microsoft uh, process monitor here, which is the website linked right here, technet.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash sysinternals slash bb89665.aspx. 6645aspx so you could pause the video and grab that. And here's the file right here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to load World of Warcraft and then we're gonna run this file and we're gonna show you how to actually use it. So I have World of Warcraft loaded already. We're gonna just put it right here and make my guy jump so I don't time out. And we're just gonna minimize that for a second. Now what we're gonna do is run process monitor. We're gonna hit yes and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So by default, it's gonna show you all the different things running on your computer. Now, as you can see here, these are all World of Warcraft related things. Um, what you're gonna to need to know is where is your World of Warcraft installed? Now you can right click on your shortcut, you can go to properties and you can see exactly where it's at. Uh, for me, we're gonna say S colon slash wow dash three shamans. We're gonna just highlight that and we're gonna copy it. And we're gonna close that again. And now we are gonna to go to process monitor. We're gonna to go to filter, or sorry, we're gonna to go to tools and do file summary, and then we're gonna click filter. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a filter here. Let me just go ahead and remove this one. We're gonna add a filter that says path, begins with, and then we're gonna just highlight, and we're gonna paste that link that we put in there before, and then we're gonna click add, and then we're gonna click okay. And what we're gonna see now is we're gonna see a list of files uh, that are accessed just World of Warcraft related here, such as my S shamans, yada, yada. So we're gonna hit okay here. We're just gonna let that be for a moment. We're gonna want it to gather some information. So here we've got World of Warcraft loaded. Um, let's actually simulate something a little bit better. We're gonna go to uh, the town um, of Stormwind and we're just gonna walk around. We're gonna go to the bank and we're just gonna open up the auction hall for a moment. And what we're doing is we're simulating what your just your average gameplay is gonna be for what you wanna use Dim Drive with. So let's say if you're raiding, you would actually go to whatever raid you're doing and you'd play the raid and then you'd let it record information and then you'd come back and look at that data. So whatever, we open up the auction hall, we're gonna go back to our garrison. Um, this is a level 100 DK. Uh, play a little bit in my spare time. So now that uh, our garrison is loaded, You'll see, click on this here. We've got some missions that are done. We're gonna click next. Looks like uh, we're rewarded with it. And hit next again, and we're just gonna minimize this. Now we're gonna go back to the process mod here. We're gonna go back up to tools, go back to file summary. We're gonna see it a whole lot of things loaded here. And what we're gonna do is we can sort by all these different options. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sort by read bytes. And we're just gonna take a look at what files had a lot of data accessed. Now, um, a lot of times, uh, depending on what you're doing, but World of Warcraft will have a lot of hits to an index file. And I found that adding this index file makes things a lot more snappier in the game, such as when you mouse over icons um, and look at their information, or when you're um, moving through a town or just loading things for the first time. So I like to include this. And then you'll notice here data 18, 19, 20, and so on and so forth. Now we barely did anything in the game, so there wasn't a lot of read data, but we know it's 200 megs, you know, a few hundred more megs here. And so now we're gonna use this information. We're gonna go back into our, and again, this is the less RAM option for World of Warcraft. Uh, we have our dim drive set up to be six gigs. So we're gonna click, we're gonna click this button and click configure, and it's gonna pop open a window with all the different World of Warcraft files. Now let's take a look at this again. We see here that data indexes is a folder that looks like got a lot of uh, traffic. So we're gonna click on data. We're gonna select indexes, only 245 megs. And then we notice 18, 19, and so on and so forth. Well, these files, if we go to data, we notice that they're one gig each. So let's just go ahead and select five of them. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna select uh, 18. Uh, and then we're 
we're going to find 19. And let's do, let's just do one more, 20. Now, uh, depending on the size of your dim drive, you may do more files or you may do less files. So uh, we did 18, 19, and 20. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a couple more. 17, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and let's do 10. Uh, where's 10 here? Did a 10. So what we have is we have five files that are a little over a gig each, or I guess a gig, so five gigs, plus we have our index file. Um, and that's really all we're gonna want. Uh, you can add other things such as your interface. Uh, sometimes that's nice to do, and sometimes your cache is actually nice to do as well. We're gonna go ahead and add cache. We're gonna go ahead and add our index as well, or our interface. We're gonna submit that, and we now have 5.3 gigs for the size of our World of Warcraft on our dim drive. And we're gonna go ahead and click close. And now when you see here, it says 5.3 gigs, and we have a six gig size, so we can go ahead and click on and then you can go ahead and turn your dim drive on. And so what that's done is that will load these specific files that we found get a lot of, uh, a lot of reading. It's gonna load just those files, just the important files into your dim drive, and it's gonna allow you to have a less amount of RAM, for example, six gigs of RAM set to your dim drive for World of Warcraft install, which is almost 30 gigs. So right there, you've saved a ton of RAM. And again, uh, let's say you, are not someone who just goes to his garrison and does little missions. Let's say you're somebody who does raiding or you're somebody who does battlegrounds. What you wanna do is you wanna load the game, do your battlegrounds, do your raiding, and then come back and take a look at what the data tells you is the most important. And uh, that's basically it right there. Let's go ahead and hit cancel there. And so that's how you use Dim Drive, uh, the Dim Drive 2.0, with the less RAM feature for World of Warcraft. If you guys have any questions, please head on over to the forums.dimdrive.com and feel free to ask. Otherwise, I hope this video helped out and you guys have a nice day.